take this, Lechuk! No! Guybrush, come over here. Gently now. Remove my mask. Will you promise to stop picking on me? All right, all right, I promise. Anything. Just put my leg back on. Hey, you kids. You're not supposed to be in here. <laughs> <laughs> What's next? Let's goof on those two. Pretend they're our parents. <laughs> yeah! Sorry we ran off. You were probably worried about murderers and ne'er-do-wells. Don't worry. <laughs> I found them. <laughs> <laughs> um, come on. Let's go. Let's pretend I have powers that make lightning come out of my eyes. <gasps> it's so... lifelike. I wonder if it's real. Sorry, boys. Could you stop following us? It's creepy. Yes, yes sir. sir. Come on. I saw a scurvy dog shack back there. Scurvy dogs. I've never had one of those. No way. You have to try one. It's the best thing you'll ever eat in your life. No fooling. Wow. Wakey, wakey, Mr. Pirate. Um, hello? Boo! Ha! <laughs> He's dead to the world. Sounds real. Hey, Chucky, get ready to run. I guess they don't like visitors. Let's go next door and get scurvy dogs. They put it on a leg to keep you from walking off with it. <laughs> I'll bring this right back, sir. You'd be wise to do that. I got the leg from the last kid who didn't bring back the key. I once got a scurvy dog that was bigger than my head. Those glasses are thicker than the layer of grease on the floor. <laughs> Scurvy dogs? Sure. If you give me a piece of eight, that's money that grown ups use. I know what a piece of eight is. Good for you. You can have a couple of dogs if you give me one. Please? Can't you spare something for a couple of hungry kids? Listen up, you little moocher. Let me tell you something. I don't like kids. I'm an honest businessman trying to make an honest living. I don't need 50 kids a day coming in and wasting my time trying to get me to give them free food. I guess never mind. Hey, I know. Let's look for change in the outhouse across the way. Coins fall out of people's pockets when they sit down in there. Looks like they need a swabby in here. I'll never be the ship swabby. That is really, really low. The words don't look like words, but there's a picture of a scurvy dog. Good, you unlocked it. It isn't a piece of eight, but it's a round piece of metal about the same size and shape as a piece of eight. That's called a slug. It's like a fake coin. A fake coin is almost as good as a real coin. Gross. Chucky, why don't you look in the toilet? No way. You do it. Okay. Ugh. Gross. Please wash hands before leaving outhouse. I'm not 
touching that gunk? It seems more like something Chucky would do. Some places you go have scurvy dogs with cheese inside. I'm not sure how we can get scurvy dogs without any pieces of eight. We might have all we need. I don't think that guy can see very well. I don't see any coins, and I'm not putting my hands in that. Now what? Can we get a couple of scurvy dogs? Sure, if you give me a piece of eight. It looks like a piece of eight, if you don't see very well. I once had the hiccups for four days straight. What can we get with this? Tastes like a piece of eight. Enough for a couple of scurvy dogs if you want. Perfect! Take them, boy. What are you getting? What? Just kidding. Here's yours. Yum! What do you want to do now? I don't know. What do you want to do? Did you know you can keep a scurvy dog warm by sticking it in your armpit? Chucky, stand over here for a minute. No way. Exhibit removed. Ah. Let's not go back there again. We'll just get yelled at. I wonder where those two people we were following went. In France, they call a scurvy dog a chien spore butt. That's my friend Dee. Hey Dee. Hey Chucky, what are you jerk faces up to? We just got here. I'm making a list of stuff to do. Give me that. I'm an expert planner. There. Perfect. See you around the park, Sidheads. That's a cool anchor. <sighs> that just shows how little you know about anchors. This one's not a very good example. You'd know that if you read as much about anchors as I have. Did you know that anchors originally weren't designed to hold ships in place? They were used in combat, shot from cannons as a grapple when you were trying to board another ship. They started making them bigger and bigger because they would do more damage that way. Then people noticed what happened when you missed the other ship and hit the sea bottom instead. The current bow-shaped design is actually less effective than the sharper V-shaped design that was popular last century. But the older design went out of fashion. You can still find the old kind around sometimes, but collector on a modern anchor, that's to prevent the little flint. Most anchors about third all, oh, but the old the word they're called, yeah, I'm kind of... <sighs> Chucky, want to race? You're on. I'll officiate. Three, two, one, go! I win! <laughs> hey, hands off! Excuse me. Yes? Could we have some of your bread to feed the duck? I don't think so. We brought it for ourselves. I wonder what's in that basket. Let's find out. What do you think you're doing? Kids these days have no regard for personal property. And no respect for your elders. I have half a mind to give you a piece of my mind. And I've got the other half. Blah, blah, blah. 
Blah, 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 blah. Blah, blah, blah. Blah, blah, blah. Blah, 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 blah. Blah, blah. Blah, 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 What's this red glob on the ground? That's ketchup. It's supposed to be really good with scurvy dogs. You're not gonna touch the ground with your scurvy dog. No, of course not. Gross. You should put that on your scurvy dog. Yuck! I don't think that was ketchup. Whoops. I found a four-leaf clover. Awesome. There was still one left. Arr. I already found a four-leaf clover. Do not pick the four-leaf clovers. <laughs> As if. Do you like to hunt for four-leaf clovers? Yeah, I leave them where they are and take the extra leaves off. I want things to be even. Let's be frank. You can never hope to beat me. No way! You'll never catch up to my level! I win! I win! Uh. <laughs> you guys are both pretty weak. Well, anyway, that was fun. I wonder where this path goes. I should throw my coin in and make a wish. This way. I can stand on my head without using my hands. Hey, Dad. Hello, Mr. Threepwood. Hey, kids. Having fun? Yeah. We got scurvy dogs. Those have toenails and stuff in them. Ugh, I read about it. And we were playing your adventures. We just did Big Whoop. Big Whoop. Oh, boy. That takes me back. I like it when Chucky asked me to put his leg back on. He says it really funny. You guys always make up the craziest stuff for the ending of that story. It's fun! But you can't just change it around. That's not how storytelling works. A lot of your stories don't feel like they're finished at the end. What do you mean? Well, like, there's this one that you call The Secret of Monkey Island, where you went to Monkey Island and fought LeChuck. Oh, that story has a great ending. There's punching and fireworks. I thought you liked that one. But you never did find the secret. Not the real one. Sure, but that's not what that story was about. Kids, let me tell you a story that is about finding the secret of Monkey Island. Is this a long story? I think maybe I gotta go use the bathroom or something. Yeah, I have to go um, walk my tarantula. Maybe I should go with them. No, no, stick around. This is a good one. See, there was a rumor going around that my old nemesis, LeChuck, had somehow discovered the exact location of the secret of Monkey Island. I knew I had to get it before he did, so I went to Melee to get my own expedition started and beat him to the punch.
feels good to be back on Melee Island, the hub of pirating in the Caribbean, where every good expedition begins. I'll see some old pals and get things rolling. Or sailing in this case. Hi, I'm Guybrush Streepwood. Remember me? Haven't seen you in a while, Threepwood. What have you been up to? Oh, you know, freebooting mostly, swashing buckles and so on. But now I'm getting an expedition together to find the secret of Monkey Island. Oh, you're sailing with LeChuck? What? LeChuck's here in Melee? Is there widespread panic? Are people evacuating? Ah, he doesn't seem interested in carnage at the moment. Ship's just here taking on supplies and crew, as far as I can tell. Well, anyway, no, I'm not sailing with LeChuck. Do you know my history with him? He's an evil zombie ghost pirate, terror of the seas, and sometimes the land. A nefarious, conniving, murdering scallywag, a depraved, ruthless villain, and a loud talker. And I'm not those things. They say opposites attract, but what do I know? That guy steals all my best ideas. Are you sure it isn't the other way around? Seems like he was here first. I don't know how he found out, but I'm sure he's just doing this to get one up on me. We've been enemies for my whole career. Everywhere I go, there he is. He plagues me. He's my nemesis. Funny. He said the same thing about you. The Chuck kidnapped my wife. He's always had designs on her. I sailed to Monkey Island to find them and get her back. Oh. I thought you weren't married yet when that happened. And didn't she more or less rescue herself? That's not the point. I'm mounting my own voyage. Mine. Well, you'd better get cracking then. The Chuck's loading up on the outer dock as we speak. Well, I'm gonna hire a ship and a crew and beat him to the punch. Just as soon as I can get someone to back the venture. I'm a little short on funds at the moment. In that case, you'll want to go talk to the pirate leaders at the Scum Bar. Exactly. That's why I came to Melee. It'll be great to see those old guys again. We'll knock back a grog and hash out the details. Scum Bar. By the docks. Long table in the back. I know where I'm going. We'll see. I detect a certain resemblance here. Yes, it looks a lot like an owl, doesn't it? Re-elect Governor Carla. She's hard on softness. I'll talk to the pirate leaders before I go see what LeChuck is up to. I'm here to talk to the pirate leaders about a new expedition. In the back. Yo ho. Looks like a circus act, maybe. I'm here to talk to the pirate leaders about a new expedition. In the back. I really need to talk with the pirate leaders first. Have you seen the pirate leaders around? This is their table. In fact, you'd probably better move. You don't want to get caught sitting here. It's our table, Rummy. We're the pirate leaders. Get lost. I hadn't heard there was a change of leadership. Oh, no. Did nobody remember to notify you? Maybe your party invite got lost in the mail. Where are the three older guys who used to hold court here? Who cares? Probably crying in an alley somewhere, wishing they were still relevant. Making up trials for each other and writing memoirs that no one will read. Is it you I should talk to about financing an expedition? An expedition? Who is it that you think you are, exactly? Huh? 
I'm Guybrush Threepwood. Probably you've heard of me. Probably not. Permission to slaughter the annoying old wastrel man, Captain Madison. Wait, it was Captain Madison? She's like famous. I've got her on a trading card. Her plunder stats are amazing. Plunder stats aren't everything. Then the others were Captain Lila and Captain Trent. It was Lila who threatened to kill you? Look, they weren't that great, okay? Listen to the story. Want me to slaughter him? Don't bother. He's just a harmless hack who thinks he has a good idea for a pirate raid. I'm going to find the secret of Monkey Island. You're wasting our time. The secret? I didn't think that was even a real thing. It's a personal passion of mine. I really want to find it. Your weird fetishes are not something I need to hear about. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I'm sensing some reluctance, but hear me out. I could make it worth your while to help me hire a crew. A percentage of their earnings or something? No one in here wants to chase your pipe dream. you at least point me towards an available ship? You don't even have a ship? You're really up a creek. Up a creek without a ship. <laughs> With backing, I can work it out. It's a surefire investment. Triple your money or your money back. Not interested. If you don't take this opportunity, LeChuck will grab it. LeChuck? Yes, the dreaded zombie ghost pirate LeChuck himself is also going after the secret. He's here in Melee getting ready right now. If that doesn't prove it's a worthwhile venture, I don't know what else to tell you. Great. Problem solved. Excellent. You'll do it. Huh. No, of course not. Why waste money on an expedition when you can just join the one that's already going? Have fun with your scary ghost friend. Bye-bye. Well, the slight problem with that idea is that LeChuck and I are basically mortal enemies. <laughs> Fine. I don't need you or your money. I can do this on my own. If I can't buy a ship, I'll steal one. I'm a pirate. I'll find a way to get to Monkey Island, no matter what it takes. Uh, I like the old pirate leaders better. Ooh, the name seems to fit even better than it used to. Guy Brush Threepwood, as I live and breathe, how have you been? Peachy. How's Elaine? She was always my favorite governor. Also, she covered your tab when you stopped coming in. Yeah, I screwed up our anniversary. Forgot the date? Remember the date? Forgot an important allergy. She's fully recovered. Well, tell her I say hello. The atmosphere in the bar is different than it used to be. Yeah, I don't like it, but... I've got to cater to the new crowd. Everything changes, Guybrush. But the roaches stay the same. I've missed your wit. And your low alcohol tolerance. <laughs> hey. Those new pirate leaders seem like real jerks. Why do you even let them in the bar? Well, they've driven off my old regulars, so I don't have a lot of choice if I want to stay in business. Also, if I tried to get them to leave, they'd probably cut me up and throw me in the soup. Frankly... I'm terrified of them. On the plus side, they have more disposable income and better hygiene than the old crowd. Ooh, I think I hear the health inspector. What? Where? <laughs> Just kidding. <laughs> uh, that joke never gets old. <laughs> did I mention I'm going to find the secret of Monkey Island? No, I don't think you did. Well, that's exciting. So you'll be hiring a ship at the docks? I'm thinking I'll steal one. As far as I know, the only ship out there is the Chucks. Even better. Two birds with one stone. Bold. I like your thinking. Keep up the good work. 
Thanks. Will do. Active little guys, aren't they? Will you advance me the down payment on a ship if I help you clean up? Put that down before you hurt yourself. What? Clearly there's a lot you don't know about mobs. Honestly, I think I prefer to keep it that way. <clears throat> the plaque says, in memory of looming seagulls of old. I remember that stench as if it were yesterday. Looks like a mugshot. Clever. Expedition to fabled Monkey Island. Crew positions available. Serve under LeChuck, the most fearsome pirate on the eight seas. Equal opportunity employer. Inquire here. Looking for a job? Step this way. The clipboard in your hand says you're the quartermaster. The crew says I'm the quartermaster. Clipboard doesn't get a vote. You look like a guy without many options. You want a job? I'm sure to swabby. LeChuck's an equal opportunity employer. Even humans are mostly tolerated. Have you got anything more senior? Well, I need a second mate, a bosun, a ship surgeon, and a gunner. Do you think you're qualified for any of those? I could be second mate. Do you honestly have any idea what a second mate does? goes to store openings and funerals and waits for the first mate to be incapacitated? I thought so. Maybe Swabby's not so bad after all. The only requirement is that you bring your own mob. You've got a mob, the job is... Hey, hey, wait a minute. What's your name, sailor? Andrew LeChuck. No relation. What a coincidence. LeChuck gave me a blacklist, and you're on it. In fact, you are the blacklist. I'm sorry. Can't hire you. You're obviously Guybrush Threepwood. Well, that's a slight hitch. I'm confused. Didn't you say you were gonna get your own ship? Yes, but then suddenly I thought, why bother? I wanted a ship and a crew. Here was a ship and a crew. Ripe for the taking. All I had to do was get on board, wait for the right moment, and strike. Strike? Mutiny the crew, seize the ship. Be a pirate. Except they wouldn't hire you because they knew who you were. Yeah, that was a problem. Also, I needed a mop. I hope this isn't one of those party cruises. No parking of demonic, ghostly, or undead vessels or scooters. Tuesdays, three to four. Looks like this is gonna be a long journey. Say what you want about my evil, horrible nemesis, LeChuck, but he does know how to stock a ship. Why was Wally in such a hurry? He wouldn't sell us out to Madison, would he? I believe he needed to relieve the pressure upon him in a different way. Skip over the hugs and kisses. Elaine! Guybrush! I was hoping you'd turn up in this story. 
I was hoping you'd turn up in mine. You won't believe how I'm getting to Monkey Island. I've known you a long time. Try me. I'm planning to sign on to LeChuck's crew, mutiny them, and take the ship. Oh, dear. Isn't there an easier way? Oh, trust me. That is the easy way. How's your scurvy prevention project? It's great! We're going to get a lot of limes to a lot of sailors and save a lot of lives. I've got to come up with a way to deal with Captain Madison, though. The pressure she's putting on the town is making it hard for social programs like mine. Uh, sounds like we both met Captain Madison. I don't like her. She's the one who pushed to shut down the shipyard. She doesn't understand the value of the secret of Monkey Island. She laughed at me! Me too! Obviously, the woman has no taste and a lousy sense of humor. I feel better just talking to you. Me too. You've probably got to get going. You say goodbye first. No, you say bye 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 first. Okay. Bye. Bye. Elaine would kill me if she caught me pulling down. It's Elaine's flyer about how limes combat scurvy. It's important, but boring. I never once made it all the way to the end. They're having a half-off sale. The problem with this statue is it's not a statue of Elaine. The best ever honoring Melee Island's 27th governor, Cardla the Swordmaster, for her heroic actions at ah, the International House of Mojo. This place hasn't changed in years. Welcome, Guybrush Threefoot. Nice to see you again. I have been waiting for you. I'm going... I know of your desire to find the secret of Monkey Island. Allow me to seek knowledge on your behalf. Will it cost me anything? Pride. Free will. Not much. The way to the secret is like a serpent which swallows itself. Many obstacles lie ahead. Serpent, obstacles, got it. Ooh. You must walk the path. Yet you have already walked the path. And now I'm going back again. When you are unsure of the way forward, open this book for guidance on what is to come. It can tell me my future? In a way. Think of it as a book of hints. What is it really? A book of hints. Use it wisely. To know too much diminishes the voyage. Neat. Thanks. No charge. What's cooking? The feast of knowledge. Next time I'm in a drum circle, this would come in handy. An empty basket. Should have gotten here last month. It says everything must go, but it's a creepy shrunken head with long, stringy hair. I didn't know these were a voodoo thing. They're not, but the tourists like them. Everything's spilled out of it in a puddle. A crystal. Yeah, this isn't that kind of game. Not for me. Looks like it's been there forever. Green, half off. Blue, the curtains are for sale too? Everything. It's an unusual safe with five keyholes. Alas, the safe is not for sale. It has been placed with me. Pointy. It is a non-magical. What's this thing? It's a forgiveness frog. When no apology will do, give the forgiveness frog. It's like a card, only much better because it's a frog. I never heard of that before. Are you sure it's real voodoo? No comment. It works. Trust me.
property foreclosed by order of Madison Enterprises. What kind of person would just paint on a wall like that? This place has kind of gone downhill. Hey, Wally! Well, 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 look what the surf washed ashore. It's Guybrush Threepwood. Nice to see you again too, Wally. Whatever your last name is. I spent years in therapy getting over being burned, blinded, blown up, abandoned, and marooned because of you. <laughs> yeah, good times, huh? You're lucky I'm past all that and am running the best map shop within the Caribbean and beyond. I'm looking for a mop. This is maps and more, not mops and more. Well, I was hoping the and more might include mops. Well, it doesn't. Try asking the cook over at the bar where he got his. You wouldn't happen to have a map to the Secret of Monkey Island. Funny you should ask. I recently made one on commission, but then they destroyed all my source material. It is the only one in existence. Best of luck to you. You have a lot of maps in here. We've got so many, you need a map to find them all. <laughs> a little cartographer humor. Yeah, I'd forgotten how funny it was. Looks like the shop across the way is in trouble. The high-stakes, ego-driven world of pirating is changing, and dark magic is taking over. Voodoo magic is fun and all, but it's not what the new generation wants. Me? I'm on the bleeding edge and making a bundle. I'm about to franchise. The town seems to be pretty run down. Since Captain Madison made Melee her base of operations, people have been complaining. They say she brings a bad element to town, but that bad element spends a lot of money on maps. So, what am I supposed to do? Do what's right? I am. I'm doing what's right for Wally. It's great to see you landed on your feet after all these years. Business has been booming with all these new dark magic pirates. Captain Madison has me on a lucrative retainer. She pays extra for a bunch of wacky symbols I just make up. I'll let you get back to cartographing. That's not a real word. Uh-huh. They're like glasses, only way less convenient. Ooh, those look fancy. The finest tools to make the finest maps. Hey, Wally. What's with the window ladder? I use it to keep an eye on the neighbors. Well, it's good to have a hobby. Wally, can I have one of these maps? Absolutely. If you pay for it... Never mind. This map shows both sides of the globe. It's twice the value. It's a map on a fan. But this must be Trouser Island. Actually, Mr. Threepwood, it's... Yep, Trouser Island. I had a map like this once, but I sailed left. That looks like a treacherous voyage. It says, rating, Cursed Black Diamond. The first rule of piracy is, never buy a used treasure map. Ooh, this one looks nice. How much is it? Oh, that one? Too much. Hey, Wally, what's in these boxes? Maps. I try to steer clear of sea monsters myself. Somewhat understated. And good old mazes. Can't get enough mazes. Huh, never seen one of those before. I didn't know you made globes, too. I don't. This is for reference. It's got all the latest continents. Lechuk, sir. Just thought I'd pop in and let you know. Preparations to set sail are almost done. You have all the supplies for the spell to get to Monkey Island? Check. Squid ink, chickens, brimstone, cinnamon, monkey blood, mint, and an annoying skull. Well done. Mark yourself down for one less lashing this voyage. <clears throat> A funny story. Guybrush Threepwood tried to sign on to the crew. Threepwood? He must be looking for the secret, too. Mm, that guy steals all my best ideas. Have him killed! 
Wait! Let him live! I want him to see me sail off for Monkey Island knowing the secret is lost to him forever. Sure. I want to bring this up one more time. Is searching for this mythical secret of Monkey Island a good idea? Shouldn't we be out terrorizing the high seas, instilling fear, creating mayhem, being more on brand for Lichuk? I've had enough of you questioning my orders. Finish loading the ship, and whatever you do, don't let Threepwood on board. Very well. Aww, this is where I risked my neck for Elaine, and she showed me she only needed me to risk my heart. Also, the, the note says, forced to close. Thanks for the memories, but cash would have been better. Looks like a volcano island with horns. The, the note says, forced to close. Thanks for the memories, but I... Everybody thinks they know more than the other. Okay. A visitor! <laughs> Wait. Guybrush Threepwood? <laughs> Otis! Howdy, kid. And Stan. Otis, old pal. You haven't changed much since I last saw you. I blame the government. In fact, didn't we first meet right here? Not at all. I was in the other cell that time. You look different somehow. Uh, new art style? How nice of you to notice. Big news. I'm going after the secret of Monkey Island. That sounds fantastic. You know what I remember most about Monkey Island? The time you busted me out of jail right before we went there. I don't cruise ships anymore. But maybe you can still help me out. Like you did all those years ago. Yeah, I'm sort of planning on hijacking an existing crew instead of recruiting one. But maybe I can spring you anyway, for old time's sake. I would be most appreciative. A locksmith has opened very conveniently across the way. I am told locksmiths can make keys for things. Uh, things like cell doors. Imagine that. What did they get you for this time? I'm a victim of circumstance. Circumstance being that too much attention gets paid to little things that don't hurt anyone while hard killers roam the streets with pistols and swords. I notice you didn't say what crime they locked you up for. It was nothing. I was just picking some flowers. In the forest? Uh, no, that's illegal. I learned my lesson. I picked them from the governor's garden instead. Eh? Picking flowers from the governor's garden? Sounds like an unwise choice. We used to be friends. Sort of. Anyway, they aren't even her flowers. Taxes pay for them. It's public property. I don't know why anyone bothers me about it. I don't hurt anybody. Well, except the flowers. They're annuals. They're doomed anyway. Guybrush, you've got to get me out of here. It's custard night. I don't think I can take that again. I'll make it my number three priority. Thanks. It says, jail rules. One, no escaping. Hey, Stan. Hello there, son. What did you do that got you arrested? Let me tell you something, son. It's not what a man does that matters. It's who he is. Maybe one day, in a moment of weakness, he crosses a line. But if he's confident about what's in his heart, he can hold his head high. And you know what's in my heart, son? Blood and goopy stuff? People! People are in my heart. Anything I may have allegedly done, you can be sure I did it because I care about people. I was really hoping to buy a ship from you. Well, now, normally, I would do absolutely anything to get you into a comfortable ride right away. But my hands are tied. They're shackled. I can't do it. Not at any price. I'm completely out of inventory. Every ship on the lot was seized by unscrupulous lawyers who don't care about your sailing needs the way I do. Okay, don't worry about it. I've already got a plan to steal a ship from LeChuck. 
Well, if you don't get killed, look me up afterwards. I'll give you a good price for anything that can stay above the waterline. Naturally, it'll have to be store credit until I get back on my feet. What exactly did you allegedly do for people that got you arrested? I gave them what they wanted. Now, naturally, people don't always know that they want the things they want. Sometimes it takes a man with a talent like mine to show them the way. And sometimes people who are jealous of that sort of talent will try to put all sorts of unpleasant labels on it. They use hurtful words like scam and misrepresentation and even fraud. But it's all just marketing, son. As natural as the rocks and the trees and the Malay Island flounder birds. And that's why I'm not worried. I'm awaiting final judgment of the court, but I'm certain I'll be acquitted. They don't hang people for marketing. Would it help if I broke you out of jail? Now that's a kind offer, it truly is. Warms me to think that you'd do that for your old pal Stan. But I've got to think about the optics. I don't want to damage my case, and escaping from jail doesn't look good at trial. So thanks, but no thanks. Well, is there anything else I can do for you? Now that you mention it, there is one thing I've been missing during my time here in this lofty establishment. In all the rush and fuss and document shredding surrounding my arrest, I completely forgot to grab my toothbrush. If you happen to be passing by the shipyard, you might grab it for me. It'll be on my desk in the office. Sure thing. Didn't you used to have a law practice or something? Used to, but I was disbarred for what we former law practitioners call moral turpitude. Is that a real word? More or less. It's one of those handy catch-all words that you can use whatever you want because it doesn't mean anything specific. I'm going after the secret of Monkey Island. The secret? Boy, that takes me back. But if you're looking for help, you're barking up the wrong enchilada. Just remember, life has no guarantees or warranties. Only jamborees. Thanks. That's advice. See you later. Yep. Watch your boots in here, son. I think there's some writing on it, but it's too tiny to read. I don't remember this place being so leaky. They finally installed running water. Hey, a spider. Hi there, newcomer. Hi. I see a peninsula trailing off into small islands, but no X marks the spot. It's southern Florida. I have family there. Are these for customers? Hands off. Those are my last crackers. That's an impressive machine. Yep. This wouldn't be much of a lock shop without a key grinder. These are nice. It's a locksmithing test. Close it all up, and if you get the key out, you pass? That's the beginner level, yes. The real challenge is to lock the larger box inside the smaller one. I'm Guybrush Threepwood. Pleased to meet you. I'm Lock Smith. You're kidding, right? Nope, and before you ask, Yes, they did. Yes, it was. And they really, really wanted me to follow in the family business. Can you really make keys for stuff? That seems like a magic trick. Modern locks have serial numbers that tell me all I need to know. No tricks necessary. Just information. It seems wrong that you can make a key from just the serial number. It's a fail-safe, in case people lose their key. You know how people are. Who's the old lady in the window across the way? You mean Whitey Bones. She used to be the Undertaker here years ago. 
seems to know a lot of things that maybe don't quite fit together. It's really clean in here. Do you have a mop I could use? I simply don't allow filth to accumulate in the first place. Try somewhere a little less sanitary, like the bar by the docks. How well do you know Whitey Bones? Not well at all, but she's been living near my shop for quite a few years. She was across from my old location, too. But she moved when you moved? I'm sure it's just a coincidence. I think I'll browse around a bit. Try not to touch anything. I've got a system, and I don't like it disrupted. What is that? It's definitely not a key, or a lock. It's a fishing lure, of course. Uh, of course. Can I try out your key grinder? <laughs> no. I wouldn't want you to lose any fingers. I think it's a chandelier. Looks sort of like an eye. seems to be stuck closed. Employees only. Guy brush three wood. Hello, sword master. Prepare to taste my blade, you washed up hack. When was the last time you had a bath? Ha! That was marginally clever. It's nice to see you again. You too. I hope you're not still sore about that thing with the ship that one time. Ancient history. Oh, good. I can think of plenty of more recent things to hold against you. Oh. I heard from your wife. She's coming by to talk about scurvy legislation. I assume you're involved with that somehow? Elaine said that program is being hampered by Captain Madison. Not the legislative part, just the public funding. The town was in a bind a while back, and that so-and-so Captain Madison saw an opportunity. She lent us the cash we needed, but now we're up a creek paying the interest. Things like social programs, waste management, and town maintenance are all on the back burner. I like that woman less every minute. You and me both. I'm looking for the secret of Monkey Island. Good for you. I don't have it. Yeah. Yeah. Well, the mansion hasn't changed much. Elaine's style is still everywhere. Even the books are hers. They're my books now, as you well know. I don't really have anything to say. I just like doing this. Practice is nice, but I'm busy these days. Governor stuff.
It's a lot of work being governor. I like your stuff, uh, I guess it's a dog? Please, take that and throw it away. It was a gift from the Earl of Thickwater, who is a contemptible pig. The blurb says it's a solid, if somewhat predictable, story about a roguish pirate and a doomed romance with a woman of station. Note to the reader, no disguised secrets are revealed in this book. Can I borrow a book? You've got a lot of nerve asking that. You never brought back the last book you borrowed. I had to buy another copy. You never even apologized. I'll pay for it. I don't need your money. Can I borrow a book? You never brought back the last book you borrowed. You never even apologized. I'm sorry. Yeah, I'm hearing the words, but somehow they aren't helping. I need more than that. Stay out of my bedroom, Threepwood. I've seen that same painting. Elaine told me that's Lauder Neckbeard, second governor of Melee Island. His overly strict morals and edgy. I've always thought this looked like my old ship, the Sea Monkey. Uh... than I am. The assets of this establishment have been seized to settle a class action lawsuit. Have a nice day. It's a dried up old sea sponge. Stan used this to clean his ships. It's all rusted out now. It always looks bigger on this side of the island. There was a time when every mooring would be filled with one of Stan's used. I remember when these torches lit up Stan's previously owned vessels like a carnival. The window's all boarded up, and it's very dark in there. Is that an old toothbrush? forest ahead is deadly and twisty. Maps are highly recommended. these when I was six. I used to love these when I was six. Until I got trapped in one for two. Museum of Pirate Lore. Once upon a time, I won a t-shirt right here on the front lawn. Hi there. Welcome to the Melee Island Museum of Pirate Lore. I'm Conrad, the curator and docent here. I also edit the Pirate Times newsletter. Here, take my business card. Uh, thanks? The museum showcases the largest collection of pirate memorabilia in the Caribbean. Or on Melee Island at the very least. The provenance of each item has been very carefully researched and fact-checked by myself and my team. Feel free to explore. And if you have any questions, just ask. What can you tell me about this eye patch? That's the pride of the collection. It belonged to Captain John Laney. The Pirate of a Thousand Faces. Supposedly, it had voodoo powers that would disguise him. I tried it on, though, and nothing happened. 
the display case is locked. Eye patch worn by Captain John Laney, the pirate of a thousand faces. It's a working parrot. I shouldn't bother it. What's the significance of the peg leg? That belonged to the infamous peg leg Patty. She used to hide a spare cutlass in it, in case of capture. Sadly, that's the reason she's no longer with us. That's a nice oar. The one with the coffin, yeah. The coffin had a lot of water damage when I got it from the voodoo lady in town. But I managed to restore it. It was used by a certain well-known captain in a daring escape from a Turkish prison. Uh, the water damage is actually from the swamp on Scab Island. Hmm, unlikely. The prison in question is nowhere near Scab Island. I'm just trying to help. Thanks. I've got it under control. What's the story with the wanted poster? That is the earliest known wanted poster for Captain Kate Capsize. You can tell how notorious she was by the huge number of crimes listed there. Very impressive. I got it from a collector on Fat Island. Those are my own crimes, actually. I was pretty much public enemy number one on Fat Island at the time. I stuck Kate's picture on there so she'd get thrown in jail. <laughs> that would never work. Nobody's that clueless in real life. You don't believe me? It's not a question of belief. Never mind. It's not important. What was this cinder you've got on the wall? Oh, that. Yeah, that was an unsent love letter written by Elaine Marley while she was governor of the island. What? Elaine? The recipient was referred to only as Plunder Bunny. That's me! It was a really touching letter. Unfortunately, I put the candle too close to it. What did it say? Tell me what she said. Oh, you know, love letter stuff. Honestly, I don't remember a word of it, but it was touching. Thanks a lot. That map looks familiar. That's one quarter of the original map to the treasure of Big Whoop. I got it from the cartographer on Low Street. Apparently, he was somehow involved in the search for Big Whoop. About all Wally managed to do was get kidnapped by LeChuck's henchmen. That's not the way he tells it. You should think about hiring a research assistant. Oh, I did. Unpaid, of course. Intern. How on earth do you have that note? Oh, yeah. That's very interesting. That was found tucked inside of a book at the Fat Island Library. It's the actual note left by the ghost pirate LeChuck when he kidnapped Governor Marley. I know what it is. The lookout handed it to me just before I finished my three trials. Uh, I was crushed, but undaunted. I gathered a crew and I sailed to Monkey Island to save her. Not that she needed it, as it turned out. Wow, man, you're really into this. I've got a role-playing group on Thursday nights. I'm telling you the truth. I'm sure you are but it just doesn't quite square with the official record. So it's hard to substantiate. Substantiate? You've got an eyewitness. Eyewitnesses are notoriously inaccurate. Human memory is plastic and suggestible. Not yours, apparently. No, of course not. I deal in facts. I don't suppose you have a mop from a famous pirate swabby on display? I've been trying to get the cook down at the scum bar to donate his, but he won't part with it. Tell me about that newsletter of yours. The Pirate Times. We publish pirate news, pirate stories, pirate poetry, all things piratey, really. I'm Guybrush Threepwood. No kidding? Wow, are you named after Guybrush Threepwood? Uh, I guess you could say that. Nice. I so you wear a peg leg, despite having both of your original legs. Just part of the docent's outfit, for the tourists. Kids always want to try it on. That's charming and creepy at the same time. This is a museum for people who think attacking ships and murdering the crew for profit sounds fun. Touché. Your museum is quaint. Thanks. It's been a personal passion of mine. I'm nuts about old-timey pirate stuff. 
old timey? Being around it really makes you feel like you're a part of something, doesn't it? I uh, am yeah, part of something. Exactly. Do you have maps of the forest here? No, that's not really what we do. Try the map shop in town? Are any of these things valuable? The security parrot isn't just here to look piratey. John Laney's eye patch is irreplaceable. It's the highlight of the collection. Amazingly, I got it at a yard sale. They didn't know what they had. I'm going to find the legendary secret of Monkey Island. Oh, that's excellent. Super retro. If you need a place to display it, I know a convenient museum. I'll have a look around. Please do. It's a working parrot. I shouldn't bother it. Tell me about this hunk of wood. That's an original plank from the Golden Hind, autographed by Francis Drake himself. I used to love these when I was, oh, I used to love these when I was six. A classic specimen of Alata needleus, a carnivorous vascular dicot known for its hopelessly lost without a map. that you don't use someone else's mop why not the mop is the formal tool of a cook not as clumsy or random as a dish rag an elegant tool for a more civilized cleaning you cannot hope to succeed with the mop of another I can't you must construct your own a single perfect instrument that you will keep and use for a lifetime. Well, let's hope it doesn't come to that. Once you build it, the mop will become your constant companion, your tool, and a ready means of defense against spills of all kinds. Uh, build it? <sighs> the wood is the heart of the handle. The heart is the handle of the cook. You are one. Not helpful so far. You must find a particular tree. A tree uniquely suited to the handles of mops. Carve your handle from a limb of that tree. Any questions? How do I find the mop handle tree? I can't tell you exactly where it is, because this is your own personal journey. What kind of wood is the tree? That is something you must discover for yourself. What about the head of the mop? Oh, you have to have one, of course, but pretty much anything will do. It's mostly about the handle. Okay, I guess I'll do it. What's wrong? You gave the story the wrong title. It should be called Mop Quest. When do we get to the piratey parts? Even the coolest professions involve more mopping up than you would think. It seemed crazy to me at the time, too. But don't forget, it was all so I could board a ship, take command, and sail to Monkey Island. But first, I had to make a mop. <laughs> 